Everyone, welcome to Fantasy Lighthouse. We're gonna be taking a look at the recent past, the present, and the future. To book a private session, all that info can be found in the description box below of this video. Let's get started. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the recent past. And energies are just falling all over the place. Okay, tell me more about the Ten of Swords. All right, so somebody is feeling a lot of pressure over an ending. The person that is stuck in their mind or overwhelmed is someone that you are not around with the Three of Wands energy coming out here. So there's distance between you and this person and um, it, they're in transition right now. They have no choice but to be in a transition for some reason and I don't know why. They are exhausted. They're consumed with the problem. There's multiple issues that this person is going through at this time. I feel like they're very concerned with an ending or something coming to an end. Tell me more. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy coming out here. And we also have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the Chariot. It's like... This is making them nervous. Some of you guys also dealing with a cancer, but I feel that they're watching this person leave and they have a problem with that. Someone in your energy is uncomfortable with the fact that you are growing distant or that you may not be returning to a situation. Talk to me about the chariot. What is the chariot all about? What is the chariot all about? Yeah, the chariot is all about the fact that somebody left or will be leaving and it doesn't look like they're coming back. So I feel like this is your energy of trying to leave something in the past or do away with it. As you do that, this person is staring at you like, where are you going or what are you doing, okay? Vice versa, this could be your energy or the energy of someone that you're dealing with. However, whomever it is that's in this energy is stressed out because of this. So this is what happened, all right? So something came to an end or it stopped for some reason. Now they're sitting over here staring at the chariot, somebody or something that is leaving, right? Clearly, somebody is leaving there. Talk to me about the Six of Swords. Who is that Six of Swords? The Queen of Swords. Somebody who put them in their place. Yeah, it's like someone is not going to allow something to continue to happen or because of this that was going on, someone just decided to cut somebody out, all right, for some reason, or someone just doesn't wanna go to the party. Whatever party is supposed to be happening, it's like someone is stressed out because they have to go to a party that they don't wanna go to. In other words, for some of you, someone is stressed out that they're getting married and they don't wanna get married. So then why did you propose if you don't wanna get married? You know. <laughs> It's that type of energy. It's like now someone has to get married to someone that they don't want to marry. So did you propose so the people in the family would look at you a certain way? Why did you propose? So somebody got themselves into something that seems to be difficult to get out of is what I'm getting here. Even if we're not talking about someone that is getting married, you know the metaphor here, Taurus. You know what I mean. Somebody made a poor choice and now they regret it. And as I say that, the cards are flying all over the place. They may not like what I'm saying. Oh, well. Right? This is not a channel where we talk about things to make people happy. Like, this is the truth. So, you know, somebody's got a problem with that. And as I say that, here we have this fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody wants to talk. Okay. 
what do they want to say, right? What is the message? Because this is a message that comes in. So what's the message? Spirit, talk to me about the message. Oh, the message is that they want what they want. Okay, only if you feel like it, Taurus. No, look, pause, right? It's like you want to say pause to this person, you know? The thing is, is that I don't even feel like you're mad at this person anymore, or it's just like, I don't even care anymore. And yet they want to talk about the bad decision that they made over here. And I feel that you're over here in this energy in the present moment of being exhausted with how you see them play hopscotch with their whole life. It's like, you just, what are you doing? You know, at some point you want people to look at what they've done, recognize it and learn from it. Somebody's not learning from their mistakes clearly here. And then it's like, they wanna come to you and talk about it. And that's fine. I feel like you'll listen to what this person has to say, but in order for you to be satisfied with the conversation, they need to admit the fuckery that they're doing over here. Like, who told you to propose if you don't wanna get married now? That makes no, like, why would you do that? Okay, and that may sound very specific, but remember, these readings are in metaphor. So who told them to do something that would keep them stuck when they don't want to be stuck? You feel me? Like, who told them to do that? Now they're stressed out about that. Now they want to talk to you because you're the Nine of Cups and you're what they wanted. Okay, does Taurus want to listen to that right now? I'm not sure. Tell them to pull out their little cards and figure it out. I don't know what they're going to do. Because right now, you're very busy. Like, you have a lot of work. There's a lot of people. There's so many opportunities. Right? While they thought that they were going in the right direction the whole time. And they were wrong about that. Talk to me about the future. Talk to me about the future. For this energy and Taurus. Oh, they want to talk to you. I know that here. And then they'll come and they'll watch this. And then they'll be like, no, I'm not going to contact Taurus. Because the reading said that I wanted to talk to Taurus. Come on. <laughs> come on. You know what I mean? We have the three of pentacles. All right. So what's that? The party? Or is that coming together with Taurus? What is this? Somebody don't want to go to something. You see what I mean? Look, somebody, somebody don't want to go to this gathering. What gathering is that? Somebody don't want to go. Tell me more. What is this nine of swords? The moon card ashamed of themselves over something that they did to Taurus. Ashamed. Look at this ashamed because of what they did to the ace of pentacles yeah we know that we know that already so what are they planning on doing what are they planning on doing spirit what are they going to do here oh great really this is what they plan on doing Hide and seek from the high priestess when you're telling them the truth, really? You want to hide from Taurus? Come on. Who is this, Taurus? You know who this is. You're speaking the truth, and they're in this energy of, go find me in the closet. Like, what are you talking about? You know, why are you running away? Nobody's going to chase you, buddy. All right? They trying to hide, but you see the truth already. Anything else?
What else do you want Taurus to know? Oh, okay. So they're like, nah, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to do things like that anymore. I know what I want now. I know what I want now, Taurus. Listen to me. Hmm. I don't know. Should we believe them or this person? Spirit, should we believe this person? It's whatever you think. What do you feel, Spirit? Dang. The lovers in reverse. <laughs> Spirit's gonna tell the truth, you know. Lovers in reverse, they don't want you to believe this shit or whoever this, you know, person is, whether a friend, lover, whatever, because the lovers is in reverse right there. I just feel like if this person wants to continue to be the seven of swords for the rest of their life, then they can continue to live in unhappiness. They're always going to be unhappy. They're always chasing the wrong thing is what I feel that this person does because they don't want to know the truth. They don't want to feel the truth. They don't want to be honest. They run away from people who force them to stare in the mirror. So who wants to be with somebody like that anyway? You know, that's generally the energy that I'm getting here. You might just be fed up with this person, okay? But I still feel like you're starting not to care, you know? They probably noticed that from you. And it really doesn't matter what they try to say or what they try to do. They can try to run into everybody's closet because that's what they want to do. They're, they're running into everybody's closet. Okay, go ahead. They still can't walk away from you. Eight of Cups in reverse. So why are they playing themselves? It's time for them to be honest. All right. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. To book a private session, all of that info is below. Take care.